There are going to be times in your sessions when it seems like you're always coming across afflictions, things that are going to affect your party, things that are going to make you take damage or change your status, and it can be a little bit frustrating. Now, there are things that we can do. We did just talk about diseases, but today we're going to talk about poisons. So poisons are a little bit faster acting than diseases can be. However, you can actually do things within encounters and exploration in order to treat poison. And that is the action treat poison. So we're going to talk about that one. And my name is Don. I'm trying to be the Sly Strategist and let's go ahead and get into it. So poison generally being a fast acting affliction can be really detrimental when you're in that encounter. How Ever, you do have that treat poison and the action economy for it is pretty good because it's only a single action. Now, let's go ahead and kind of take a look at the description and then we'll talk about it as we're going. So once again, treat poison is a single action and it does have the manipulate trait. So keep that in mind when you're actually doing it is you might actually incur a reaction. The requirements are you're wearing or holding a healer's toolkit and something else to keep in mind is you have to be trained in medicine in order to do this. So the description is you treat a patient to prevent the spread of poison. Attempt a medicine check against the poison's DC. The DC is going to be listed in the poison itself, and we'll show that here in a second. Now, after you attempt to treat a poison for a creature, you can't try again until after the next time that creature attempts a save against the poison. Now, that sounds a little bit complicated, but it's really not. So let's go ahead and kind of take a look at a stat block for a poison and see if we can't show exactly what that means. Now, I'm going to show an alchemical poison simply because I don't want to give out spoilers, but creatures and other things can poison you as well, and the poison rules generally work the same. So the one we're going to use is arsenic, and arsenic is an item level one. Tags are alchemical, consumable, ingested, and poison. I'm not going to get into all the things on it. However, let's go ahead and take a look at the saving throw, which for this is a saving throw DC 18 Fortitude. Onset is 10 minutes after ingestion. The maximum duration is going to be 5 minutes. Now on stage 1, they would take a 1d4 poison damage and sicken 1, 1 minute. Stage 2 is 1d6 poison damage and sicken 2 for a minute. Stage 3 is 1d8 poison damage and sicken 3 for a minute. Now after each one of these minutes is when they are allowed to make another saving throw, and that is when you can help with treat poison. Now, different poisons might have different things. They might be around, or maybe each stage is a slightly different time frame. However, it is when they move to the stages when you're allowed to make that treat poison action. So let's go ahead and look at the success conditions. Now, on a critical success, you grant the creature a plus four circumstance bonus to its next saving throw against the poison. So that critical success is super helpful. On success, you grant the creature a plus two circumstance bonus to its next saving throw against the poison. On a failure, you don't really do anything, but on a critical failure, you actually can harm the person by your efforts cause the creature to take a negative two circumstance penalty to its next save against the poison. So it is generally going to be very good and it's helpful to have that medicine trained up and as high as you can get it when you're trying to assist. Now, I do hope you like this little quick tip on treat poison. It is a great single action that, because that single action has a pretty good action economy and is super helpful for when you just don't have the antidotes or the spells or anything else to get someone out of a poison condition. I do hope you like this quick tip, and if you did, feel free to like, subscribe, or hit that notification bell. But whatever you do, I hope you have a great day and happy adventuring. Thanks.